Well, hi, and welcome to my shop. Uh, tonight I'm doing a little experiment with this photo tube that I have. Uh, this is the only one I've got like this. This is a General Electric GL868-PJ-23 tube. It has two electrodes inside of it. One is that uh, slender rod you see going up the center, and the other one is that cup-shaped semicircle, semicircle I guess you could call it. Somebody's written 127 on it right inside. Got this black material, I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> so uh, the cup-shaped electrode is sensitive to light. It's, it's probably got cesium in it or something like that. And when photons of light strike it, electrons uh, get emitted from it. A little like a, a hot element in a vacuum tube, but there's no heat in this. There's no heater. It has four pins. Two of them are fatter than the other two, but only two pins are being used for the two electrodes inside. There could be some gas in this tube. I don't know. Some kind of gas. It may not. It may just be a vacuum inside it. So if you put a positive voltage on the center electrode relative to the uh, curved plate, I guess we can call that a plate, then any electrons that are emitted from the curved plate will migrate to the center post. Now, I don't really have a way to test this, but yes, I do. In fact, my capacitor checker, which is just right there, can check this too. All you need to do is put some voltage on it, 10, 20, 30 volts, something like that. I'm going to use 50 volts myself because that's what that's what this machine will deliver. And this guy is really meant for checking capacitors for leakage. The amount of leakage in a capacitor is very, very low. So a tiny amount of current can be detected by this device. And the way it shows you the tiny amount is on the magic eye here. So what will happen is if there's any current flowing uh, between, between the test terminals, a tiny current, this eye will show that by closing. You see the dark pie at the bottom and the rest of it is lit? The whole thing will become lit or the pie will get smaller depending upon how much current is flowing. So I'm going to hook this up to the tube. Not a capacitor, but I'll hook it up to the tube. Now we want the positive to be on the slender rod electrode and that happens to be this pin and I know this because I took a magnifying glass and I looked inside it and I could see enough to figure out which pin is which. And this one, this goes to the plate, the uh, light sensitive plate. So for this device to work you have to turn this knob to this leakage setting now, and we'll see what happens. There we go. You see the eye is wide open. There's not a lot of light in here. So I'm going to get a better source of light, flashlight. This is uh, just a regular LED flashlight, but it's fairly bright. Okay, we'll turn this on. Now we're going to shine some light. Uh, you can see the eye go. The light isn't bothering the uh, camera shot. <laughs> yeah, you can see it going. So there we are, a demonstration of a photo tube and how to test it or check its operation on a uh, capacitor checker of all things. So that's it. That's what I got. Thanks for watching.